Hi guys, we are at Asus' Zenvolution event at Computex 2016 and today we have with us the Asus Zenfone 3. Now this device has been launched along two other Zenfone 3 smartphones, the Zenfone 3 Deluxe which is the most premium of the lot and the Zenfone 3 Ultra which is a 6.8 inch phablet. But for now let's just take a look at what the Zenfone 3 offers. Now the Zenfone 3 is the successor to last year's Zenfone 2 and it is a big upgrade over its predecessor. So the most noticeable feature of the Zenfone 3 which um, you will find immediately upon looking at the smartphone is the new design. So you get a metal frame which runs along the sides and you get 2.5D curved glass at both the front and the back and that looks a little bit like the Samsung Galaxy S7. It still has Asus's traditional concentric circle pattern on the back which differentiates it from other glass back panel smartphones. The second second upgrade which is there in the Zenfone 3 is the rear mounted fingerprint sensor which falls right below the camera module. The Zenfone 3 also runs Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow with the latest version of Asus Zen UI user interface on top. Now Asus Zenfone smartphones have traditionally been powered by Intel chipsets but now that Intel is out of the mobile chipset business, the manufacturer has incorporated a Qualcomm chipset instead and what you have here is the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 chipset and Asus claims the Zenfone 3 is the first smartphone in the world to use this processor. The Zenfone 3 comes with up to 4 GB of RAM but on this version we have 3 GB and it comes with up to 64 GB of storage out of which you should get around 64 to 63 GB available to use. Now this smartphone like all Asus Zenfone variants is going to be available in multiple variants when it launches in India and that's what we will tell you uh, once we have more details on that. Um, talking about the port and button placement, the Zenfone 3 features a 5.5 inch Full HD display. Above the screen is where you find the earpiece, front 8 megapixel camera, sensors and notification LED. While at the bottom you find 3 uh, Android capacitive keys but these aren't backlit and they only feature a metallic finish. On the right side you find the power button and the volume rocker while on the left you will see an ejectable tray and this holds uh, two sim card slots but the latter also doubles up as a micro SD card slot for expansion. At the bottom you will find a USB type C port for charging along with a primary microphone and a loudspeaker grill while at the top you will find the 3.5 mm audio jack along with the secondary microphone. The back panel features a 16 megapixel primary camera which comes with phase detection autofocus, laser autofocus and continuous autofocus tracking and you also get a dual tone LED flash. You also get some Asus branding at the bottom along with the fingerprint sensor we talked about earlier. So the Zenfone 3 is powered by a 3000 milliamp battery and that with the specs that it offers we estimate it should get you through the better part of an entire day. The Zenfone 3 is available in four colors, which is gold, blue, black, and white. And it is priced at 249 US dollars. We don't have an indication of the Indian pricing currently, but as soon as we do, we will keep you posted. So that's a first look at the Asus Zenfone 3. If you liked this video, do subscribe to our 91 Mobiles YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.